draw the graph of the given polynomial and find the zeros justify the answer so here the first question is x square minus x minus 12 so here so I'll take the values of x here see I'll take for this graphs it will work out like if you take values of x like from minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 and here you write the question the question is like x square and minus x minus 12 then if you'll simplify these three values okay you'll get the value of y then you can plot those x and y values x and y values so here x value is here minus 4 here x is here minus 4 but i want x square so minus 4 whole square is 16 minus 4 whole square is 16 minus 3 whole square is 9 minus 2 whole square 4 minus 1 whole square is 1 0 square 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 4 square 16 now minus x so see here minus of minus so you will get here plus 4 and again minus of minus 3 plus 3 minus of minus 2 plus 2 minus of minus 1 plus 1 0 here see minus of 1 so you will get here minus 1 minus x but x is here 2 so minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so here constant so you write as it is minus 12 minus 12 minus 12 so as it is constant write as it is minus 12 now see if you add these values only these values you will get the like y value now here so here just add these values so 16 plus 4 16 plus 4 20 okay 20 minus 12 is 16 plus 4 20 20 minus 12 is 8 and here 9 plus 3 12 12 minus 12 0 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 12 is minus 6 see i'm adding only these three values 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 12 is minus 10 0 plus 0 minus 12 is minus 12 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 12 is minus 12 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 12 is minus 10 next 9 minus 3 is 6 6 minus 12 is minus 6 16 minus 4 12 12 minus 12 0 now here i'll write x and y values x and y values so see here x value is here minus 4 and y value is 8 and here minus 3 comma 0 and here minus 2 minus 6 minus 2 minus 6 minus 1 minus 10 and 0 minus 12 1 minus 12 these all values we need to plot 2 minus 10 and 3 minus 6 4 0 4 0 so now these are all the values we need to plot on the graph paper to get the solution to find the zeros now plot the values see minus 4 comma 8 so minus 4 is here and 8 is here so minus 4 comma 8 is this one next minus 3 0 
सो माइनस थ्री जीरो दिस इज माइनस थ्री कम जीरो एंड दिस इज माइनस फोर कम एट नेक्स्ट माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स दिस पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वन माइनस वन माइनस टेन माइनस वन माइनस टेन माइनस वन माइनस टेन एंड नेक्स्ट जीरो माइनस ट्वेल्व जीरो माइनस ट्वेल्व दिस पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वन माइनस ट्वेल्व जीरो माइनस ट्वेल्व वन माइनस ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट टू माइनस टेन टू एंड माइनस टेन टू माइनस टेन थ्री माइनस सिक्स थ्री माइनस सिक्स फोर जीरो सो दिस पॉइंट इज फोर जीरो जॉइन ऑल दिस पॉइंट सो सी फिल जॉइन एल गेट ए पैरा So here, if I'll join all these points, I'll get a parabola. So you can extend a little bit, and you can write this is x square minus x minus twelve. So now the graph goes. See for this, most important is like scale. Scale compulsory you should write like scale here. Scale on x-axis. Scale on x-axis. One centimeter is one unit. On y-axis, one centimeter is one unit. so now solution the graph the graph x square minus x minus 12 cuts x axis at cuts x axis at see it cuts x axis at two points this is one and here is one so the two points are minus 3 comma 0 And four comma zero, four comma zero. Therefore, the zero sir, the zero sir, minus three comma four. Write in cloud brackets, minus three comma four. And if you want to justify, see you can factorize this part. See x square minus x minus twelve equal to zero. So one into twelve is twelve. Twelve factors are three and four. So you can write x square plus three x minus four x minus twelve equals zero. So in the first two terms, here if I take x common, I'll be left with like x plus three minus four. If I take common, x plus three. So x plus three. X plus three into x minus four. X plus three into x minus four. Into x minus four equals zero. So x plus three equals zero. Here x plus three equals zero. And x minus four equals zero, so x equals minus three, and x equals four, and x equals four. Therefore, the solution set is minus three comma four are the zeros of the polynomial x square minus x minus twelve. Draw the graph of the given polynomial and find the zeros. Justify the answers. Second question: Here the polynomial is x square minus six x 
plus 9. So here I will take the values of x. So the values of x I will take here again in the same way. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For most of the graphs these values will work out like. Now here I will take the question now. The question is x square minus 6x six six plus 9. Then again I will write the y values. If I will add this 3x square minus 6x six six plus 9, I will get y. So now I will calculate x square. See minus 4 and here it is x square. So x value is minus 4. So minus 4 whole square is nothing but 16. So here you will get 16 minus 3 whole square which is nothing but 9 so in the same way minus 2 whole square 4 minus 1 whole square 1 0 square 0 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 in the same way 6x minus 6x minus 6 and here x value is minus 4 so minus into minus plus 6 into 4 24 so here 24 minus 6 into minus 3 minus into minus plus 6 into 3 18 so here it is 18 6 into 2 12 minus into minus plus again minus into minus plus 6 into 1 6 6 into 0 0 minus 6 into 1 minus 6 into 1 is minus 6 minus 12 because minus 6 into 2 minus 6 into 3 minus 18 minus 6 into 4 minus 24 and this constant same 9 9 if it is constant just write the same now I need to write the value of like y so now I need to add this 3 I'll get the value of y now see here it's 16 plus 9 16 plus 9 25 25 plus 24 is 49 next 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 18 36 4 plus 12 16 16 plus 9 it's 25 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 1 16 and 0 9 0 plus 0 9 9 plus 1 10 10 minus 6 4 9 plus 4 is 13 13 minus 12 1 9 plus 9 18 18 minus 18 0 16 9 25 minus 24 which is 1 so here I need to plot the values x y x and y values sir. so here minus 4 and 49 minus 3 36 minus 2 25 and here minus 1 16 0 9 1 4 2 1 3 0 4 1 so these are all the values I need to plot. Then we can find the polynomial zeros with the help of graph. So now I'll plot these values, x and y values on the graph. Here already I wrote the numbers on the graph. So so textbook graphs, most of the all the graphs you can write always like from 0 to 9, positive 9 and negative 8, and up to each scale here. I'll take like on x-axis on x axis 1 centimeter equals 1 unit on y axis 1 centimeter equals 1 unit for the textbook graphs always this will work out now see here now I will plot the values now minus 4 49 so if you try to plot minus 4 and 49 it's not possible because highest is 13 so what I'll do is I'll skip this value so I'll go for the next value 
minus 3 36 here also y value is 36 but highest is only 13 that is also not possible minus 2 25 that is also not possible minus 1 16 is also not possible so 0 9 this is possible so x is 0 here and y is 9 here so i will plot 0 9 will come over here next 1 4 1 x is 1 y is 4 here next 2 1 2 1 is here 3 0 and 4 1 so now i need to join all this to get a parabola so i'll draw See here, I'll join like this to get a parallel. You can extend a little bit. So this graph is nothing but x square minus 6x plus 9. x square minus 6x, x square minus 6x plus 9. Here, this graph cuts x-axis at only one point. So this graph cuts x axis at only one point. So the zero side, you can write here the graph, the graph x square minus 6x plus 9 cuts x axis at only one point. That is 3, comma 0. Therefore, the zeros are 3 comma 3 the re zeros are equal here two zeros are equal those are 3 comma 3 if you want you can find the zeros and you can check now see x square minus 6x plus 9 equal with 0 so 9 factors are like 3 into 3 so x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 x if will take common x minus 3 minus 3 if will take common x minus 3 because here if it is minus if will take common if the last one is plus then you will write minus now again x minus 3 if will take common x minus 3 x minus 3 again I am left with x minus 3 so x minus 3 equal 0 x minus 3 equal 0 so x equals 3 x equals 3 therefore the zeros are 3 comma 3 so here also in the, on the graph paper if you want you can write the zeros are 3 comma 3. Draw the graph of the given polynomial and find the zeros justify the answer. The third question that is x square minus 4x plus 5. So here I will take the values of x and x always will take like for these graphs uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh State Board. Uh, the textbook question, the graphs, I'll take always I'll take the values integers from minus 4 to plus 4. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the x values. So most of the time it will work like now. Here I'll write the question that is x square minus 4x plus 5. And then if I'll add these three values, I'll get the value of y now this i'll calculate now x is minus 4 but i want x square so minus 4 whole square minus 4 whole square is 16 in the same way x is minus 3 i want x square which is minus 3 whole square is 9 minus 2 whole square 4 minus 1 whole square 1 0 square 0 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 now minus 4x minus 4 and x is again minus 4 here minus 4x so minus of minus plus 16 minus 4 into minus 3 plus 12 minus 4 into minus 2 plus 8 minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 minus 4 into 0 is 0 minus 4 into 1 minus 4 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 minus 4 into 3 minus 12 minus 4 into 4 is minus 16 now it is constant right as it is now constant 5 just write 5 
Now add all these three values, you'll get the value of y. Now see here 16 plus 16 plus 5. 16 plus 16, 32. 32 plus 5 is 13, 7. Next, 9 plus 12, 21. 21 plus 5 is 26. Next, 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 5, 17. 12 plus 5, 17. 5 plus 1, 10. 10 plus, sorry, 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. And here it is like 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. And here 5 plus 1, 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 5 plus 4, 9. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 plus 5, 14. 14 minus 12, 2. 16, 16 will get cancelled. It's 5. So here x and y value, sir. X is minus 4, comma 37, minus 3, 26, minus 2, 17, minus 1, 10, 0, 5, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5. These are all the x and y values I need to plot on the graph so that I can find the zeros of the polynomial with the help of graphs. Plot the values. See here, uh, I already wrote the values on the graph paper. So I will take the scale, I will write the scale here. Scale is here on x axis. on x axis 1 cm is 1 unit on y axis 1 cm is 1 unit this is y so now here Minus 4, 37. See, minus 4, 37. It's not possible because highest value I have 13. So, you can skip this value. Mm -hmm. Minus 3, 26. You can skip this also because highest is 13 only. Minus 2, 17. I'll skip even this. Now, minus 1, 10. Minus 1. Minus 1 and 10 is here. So, I'll plot this which is minus 1 comma 10 next one 0 5 0 5 this is 0 5 next one 1 2 1 comma 2 this value is 1 comma 2 next 2 1 this is 2 1 next 3 1 3 2 sorry 3 2 this is 3 2 then 4 5 this is 4 x is 4 and y is 5 this is 4 comma 5 so now i need to join all these points so if i'll join see i'll get a parabola See, I'll join this. So, this is x square minus 4x plus 5. x square minus 4x plus 5. This parabola is x square minus 4x plus 5. See the graph. The graph x square minus 4x plus 5 does not cut x axis does not cut x axis at any point 
सो नो रियल जीरोस नो रियल जीरोस द आंसर इज नो रियल जीरोस इफ द ग्राफ डज नॉट कट एक्स एक्सिस देन जस्ट राइट नो रियल जीरोस सी बिकॉज इफ यू ट्राई टू फैक्टराइज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू इट जैसे एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव टू फाइंड द जीरोस फाइव फैक्टर्स आर वन इन टू फाइव इफ यू टेक लाइक एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस वन एक्स प्लस फाइव नो सी एक्स इफ यू टेक कॉमन एक्स माइनस फाइव प्लस वन इफ यू टेक कॉमन यू गेट एक्स प्लस फाइव सी हियर यू आर गेटिंग एक्स माइनस फाइव हियर यू आर गेटिंग एक्स प्लस फाइव दैट्स वाई इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल सो क्लियर जस्टिफिकेशन यू विल गेट नो रियल रूट्स सी इन चैप्टर फाइव क्वाइडिक इक्वेशन लास्ट एक्सरसाइज सो हियर इफ यू कंपेयर विद द स्टैंडर्ड वन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इफ यू कैलकुलेट डिस्क्रिमिनेंट विल गेट नेगेटिव सो हियर ए वैल्यू इज वन बी इज माइनस फोर सी इज फाइव सो माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू वन इंटू फाइव सो सिक्सटीन माइनस फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी विच इज माइनस हेर यूर गेटिंग माइनस फोर इफ बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी इफ इट इज लेस देन जीरो विल गेट नो रियल रूट्स आर यू कैन से लाइक इमेजनरी नो रियल रूट्स or you can call it as like imaginary so in this way you have to solve this graph if this graph does not cut x axis at any point then just write no real zeros draw the graph of the polynomial and find the zeros and justify the answer now see here fourth question that is x square Plus three x minus four. So here I'll take the values of x integers from minus four to plus four. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. Now here I'll write the question. That is x square plus three x minus four. And here I'll get the values of y. Now minus four x is minus four, and I want x square. So minus four whole square is sixteen, minus three whole square is nine, minus two whole square is four, minus one whole square is one, zero square is zero, one square is one, two square four, three square nine, four square sixteen. Now three x. So three into x value is minus four, which is minus twelve. Three into minus three minus nine. Three into minus two minus six. Three into minus one is minus three. Three into zero, zero. Three times one, three. Three times two, six. Three times three, nine. Three times four, twelve. And it is constant, right? As it is minus four. Minus four is a constant, so right in all the boxes minus four. Now add these three values. You'll get the value of y. Sixteen minus twelve, four. Four minus four. Zero, nine minus nine, zero minus four. See plus four minus four cancel, so you're left with minus six. Minus four minus three minus seven plus one minus six, zero plus zero minus four, one plus three four four minus four zero, four minus four cancel six nine plus nine, eighteen eighteen minus four is. Fourteen, sixteen minus four, twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. So x and y values are here. It's minus four comma zero, minus three minus four, minus two minus six, minus one minus six, zero minus four, one zero, two six, three fourteen. Four twenty-four. So these are the values. I need to plot on the graph paper. So with the help of parabola, we can find the zeros of the polynomial. Here, I'll plot the values. 
see scale i took i already wrote the values on the graph so here scale is on x axis on x axis 1 cm is 1 unit on y axis 1 cm is 1 unit now i need to plot minus 4 comma 0 see minus 4 0 is this point next minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 Minus two, minus six, minus one, minus six, minus one, minus six. Next zero, minus four, zero, minus four, one, zero, one, zero, two, six. Two six three fourteen. So highest I'll get like ten or twelve. So here, so highest we'll get here like whatever the values we'll get. So fourteen is not there. So you can skip these two values fourteen and twenty four. Now I'll draw the parabola for this. I'll join these points. Now see here, minus four. So if I'll join this, so this is a graph x square plus three x minus four. So here the graph, the graph x square plus three x minus four. Cuts x-axis at so it cuts at two points. So here the two points are minus four comma zero and one comma zero. Therefore, the zeros are minus four comma one. So the zeros are. Minus four, comma one. Now you can justify by finding the zeros. See x square plus three x minus four equals zero. So four factors one into four, two into two. I'll take this pair. X square plus four x minus one x minus four. So in the first two terms, x if we'll take common x plus four. Minus one will take common x plus four. So x plus four into x minus one equals zero. So x plus four equals zero. X minus one equals zero. X equals minus four. And here x equals minus one. X equals you will get minus one will transpose plus one. So the zero side minus four comma one. Draw the graph of the polynomial and find the zeros. Justify the answer. Question number five. So it is like x square minus one. So here I'll take the values of x, like integers from minus four to plus four, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. And here I'll write the question, which is x square and minus one. So here minus one. Here I'll write y. I'll get the values of y here. Now this I'll calculate x square. Minus four x square. X is minus four. X square is minus four whole square, sixteen. Minus three whole square is nine. Minus two whole square four. Minus one whole square one. Zero square is zero. One square one. Two square four. Three square nine. Four square sixteen. And constant minus one as it is. 
minus 1 is a constant so write as it is now add this to x square and minus 1 values you will get the value of y so 16 minus 1 which is 15 9 minus 1 8 4 minus 1 3 and 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 4 minus 1 3 9 minus 1 8 16 minus 1 15 so I need to plot this x and y values so minus 4 15 minus 3 8 minus 2 3 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 2 3 3 8 and 4 15 these all values I need to plot on the graph paper so with the help of that graph like we'll get a parabola and wherever the parabola cuts x-axis those are the zeros of the polynomial so now I'll plot these values on the graph so here draw the graph of the given polynomial so here just I'll plot these values fifth question minus 4 see already I wrote the values on the graph so I'll write scale here so scale is on x-axis 1 centimeter is 1 unit on y-axis also 1 centimeter is 1 unit now now if I plot these values now see minus 4 15 minus 4 15 is not there because highest is 13 so what I'll do I'll skip this value I'll go for like minus 3 8 minus 3 and 8 I have the values so I'll plot this so minus 3 8 is here so minus 3 comma 8 next one minus 2 3 minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 comma 3 next minus 1 0 minus 1 0 is here next 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 0 this is 1 0 and then 2 3 2 comma 3 here 2 comma 3 next 4 15 highest is 13 here y value in this graph so you can skip this values you can skip now join this to get a parabola join these points so here we'll join this like this so y 3 8 I can plot 3 8 so, so the parabola is here x square minus 1 x square minus 1 so the graph the graph x square minus 1 cuts x axis at it cuts x axis at two points minus 1 comma 0 so point I should write so minus 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 therefore the zeros are the zeros are minus 1 comma 1 therefore the zeros are minus 1 comma 1 if you want you can factorize and you can check see x square minus 1 equals 0 you can write 1 as 1 square here you can use the identity a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b so here x plus 1 into x minus 1 equals 0 x plus 1 equals 0 x minus 1 equals 0 x equals minus 1 x equals plus 1 so the zeros are minus 1 comma 1 so in this way we need to plot the graphs so.